Hi guys, it's Monica. I am actually filming in my dining room because I have a bunch of things spread out and I don't have any room to spread them out anywhere else. So um, this video is a requested video and I, first of all, this is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> So oh, it is a yes, it's a topper. Yes, it's all about toppers. So if you are interested, stay tuned. A number of you have asked, um, at least my the, the ladies that follow me because of wig talk, but a number of you have asked about toppers because I've mentioned a few times that I you know wear toppers. I I have a lot of these like little fake uh, wraps buns that I put in my hair, and I have many different styles of them. I pin my hair up, even my short hair. I twist it up and I add a bun to it, and it looks it looks awesome. I really like doing that. So. The first thing I thought I would I would show you is probably the the topper that I've worn the most and um, that I have recently repurchased and bought a a new one and this is um, the one that when I say that I've worn this the most this is the one I've had the longest and I have customized and worn it the most and this is an easy part. And this is the heat friendly fibers so that I have actually styled it. I've been able to put some wave into it, but this is in shaded praline 12 FS8. Shaded praline by John Renault. And I'm going to show you what I really like about this. It's very light very very much I mean you can you can see through it it's not heavily it's not high density this is the 8 inch this is the 8 inch and I have not yet cut this and I have not yet styled it and I've not yet worn this that's why it still has the tag on I pick this up in Clarence. It happens to be my color. I happen to know that I really like this. I've got this at um, Clarence on Wix Studio One. And sometimes the toppers, when they go on Clarence, are just amazing. I love this topper. This is probably have been this has probably been my all-time favorite. So I have her on right now, but the one I have on, I have heavily, heavily trimmed. And I have heavily, and I've, I've styled it. I have de-shined it. They all come a little bit more shiny. The fibers come a little bit more silky for my liking. So I have de-shined it, um, dry shampoo, and then I put some Velcro type curlers into it very carefully after I cut it. Add a little heat, a very low heat. It's heat friendly, so you can do that. But I did a very, very low heat. I sprayed it with a heat protectant. Did a very low heat curl. Then I put the curler in because once it dries, now once it cools, that is when the curl will stay in these pieces. So hot then the uh, the curler and then I just kept I went all the way around if I I think I have a picture when I did it I never published it and if I can find it I'll show you but this is just a super light versatile piece of course depending on how much you need for protection for your hair loss will depend on what you do now you know what size you wear what size base this one that I have on is the exact same one. It is the the um, easy part. It is the eight inch. It is in the exact same color, and I have it on. And I'm going to twist it up in a clip, and I put a bun on it. I will attach one of my buns. It's a pretty close match. It may not be perfect, but it's a pretty close match. So that's how I would normally wear this. But again, this one I'm just starting the process of going to trim it, probably going to thin it a little bit, and then I will curl it so it has some body and texture. And again, this is John Renault. This is the 8-inch easy part. This is heat-friendly fibers, and I have my color in shaded praline. It is the exact same thing that I'm wearing on my head. 
you can see a little bit of the difference in the fibers. This has a little bit more texture. It's not quite as shiny, it's not quite as fine, and this is a heck of a lot shorter than this. I think my ideal length in a topper would be six inches. So I always have to shorten them a little bit. My newest addition to my topper routine has been, and I absolutely love this chameleon. This was actually sent to me uh, and I wore it when I was being interviewed by Christina from the wig company. So this was sent to me complimentary and I'll tell you I was a little real nervous about the color because the color is, and this is Raquel Welch chameleon, um, the color is SS Golden Wheat. And I knew that it would probably have too much gold. I was really worried about that. So SS14, put my glasses on to read that. <laughs> the joy of being older. Uh, SS1488, okay? And this one is just really beautiful. I love this one. This one has a little bit of a lace front right here. I've done nothing to this. I wore it, I sprayed, I may have sprayed a little bit of dry shampoo, but I haven't cut it, I haven't trimmed it, I'm going to still do that, and I haven't curled it. It does have a little bit of a texture, and I, I'm really surprised, I wanted to show you, I am really surprised at how close these colors are to. Here's the John Renault Shaded Praline, and here is the Golden Wheat, in Raquel Welch. Million is a mono clip bang, 100% hand tied, really pretty. And the front is six inches and the backs and the sides are nine inches. So this for me, that's why I have to trim it a little bit. It's gonna be, you know, a lot longer. I've worn this a number of times. Um, I, I love how this fits. I love how it is light. You can part it. It's 100% hand tied. And I love the very delicate little mono, you know, the little uh, lace front if you want to wear it. Sorry, I'm upside down. And I love the little lace front if you want to wear a lace front. You can actually turn this if you really want it the other way as well. I've done that as before with other pieces. But so this I have not done anything to. I haven't trimmed it yet. But um, I've worn this and I have twisted this up with my clip and it's just given me an amazingly full, I think, realistic updo and an everyday updo because I wear it to work. So this is Chameleon. This, I will have to tell you from the Raquel Welch line, I love it. <laughs> If you are a top aware now granted if you are a girl that needs more coverage than this one because this is a small base which is perfect for me I put this on and I pull my own bangs forward I bring some of my own hair in the front and it works out perfectly even though my own hair is more of a um, right now because I've been letting the gray grow out it's more of grayish blonde lighter than that it blends perfectly even this blends I think really good I mean in the back what does it matter right you get all this um, and if I went to go and put it up twist it up put a clip in it you know what I mean it wouldn't be anything at all so that piece I really like I also have bought another piece from John Renault and when I bought this particular piece I was super super excited when I got it because it is basically easy fringe high uh, heat, heat defiant so it's heat friendly they can go ahead and style it but it was 12 inches now I've got this on clearance as well so that's why I bought it I figured I could cut it but um, I expected it to be more just bangs that's what I expected because it does it's easy fringe and so when something says easy fringe for me I thought bangs well it is bangs but it goes sideways obviously so this is the front and you can see there's a little there's a mono filament here so you have lots of parting options it looks really good I just think for me now granted it's 12 inches now I really thought there would be nothing much in the back I just thought it would be a fringe, something I could add more to the front. So I'm going to have to do some 
trimming, which I've not done yet, some thinning, which I've not done yet. So once I cut this and I thin it, I think it'll be perfectly fine. This is in Shaded Praline, so that is the color I normally wear in John Renault, the same color that I have on my head, but just a little bit more volume than I expected for this piece. I, like I said, I thought Easy Fringe was going to be just that. It was going to be fringe. Another piece that I have, and I got this on Clarence too. I love Clarence shopping. Uh, this I've done nothing with at all. I haven't worn it. Um, I have done nothing with it. This is actually, let me go find my piece of paper. I'm going to get the right color for you. Um, this is this is Ellen Villa, and I picked this up. Oh my gosh, I can't even remember what my my clearance price was. A lot of times when um, there's clearance sales, no matter what wig retailer you you have, the, you'll see some really good buys. You just have to be patient and look and hope for your color. This one, I'm pretty sure I got at Wig Studio. Yeah, I did. Wig Studio one, and I got it when they had their clearance, thirty percent off a of clearance. So Clarence is already drastically reduced, and I got it when it was 30% off. So this is 100% hand tied. It's a full lace front, so you have amazing options for this. It is really light. It is just longer for me than I want. The bang is 9.5 inches, crown is 9.75, and the base is a three by five. So the base is fine. I like a smaller base, and you can see the base. Now, because it is 100% hand tied, you can flip this any, on any side. You can wear it any way you really want, whether you want it side by side and you want to do it, or you want to go from the front to back or back to front. You can really do this. This color is so, so close. And this is Sand Mix. What a great color, huh? I mean, it's so close. So Shaded Praline, Sand Mix, um, Chameleon in Golden, Golden, you know, the Golden Weed color. Oh my gosh. Chameleon, Shaded Praline, Sand Mix. I mean, unbelievable, right? This I really like. It is just like at this point in time, it is way too long. If it was before I had the shorter hair, this would have been perfect. So I really like this a lot. Um, I, I think it's just an amazing piece. I have another one. I, the only other one I have, and many of you might have seen this, this, this one is, take a look at this. There's a lot of hair. I have cut this, but I have not yet curled it. This is definitely a high density uh, topper. It is also a big topper. I mean, this has a huge base. And let me tell you a little bit about this one. This is Uniwigs Bella, and this is Remy Human Hair. It is a six by six, but it does look bigger to me, but it's a six by six round. So, um, you know, that's probably why. But it is absolutely beautiful. It has bangs. Um, it is, the base is just, it's silk. So no matter where you wear it, you know, what you do with it, you're gonna have such a natural illusion of scalp. For me, I keep thinking I'm going to sell this because it, it's too much for me. Um, but if I were to keep this, I've had this now for what, two years? I've worn it a number of times. You've probably seen it in earlier videos. For me to feel really super comfortable in this, I have to do some thinning. And I'm debating whether I want to tackle the thinning. I went and bought some thinning shares. Um, I went and bought some regular cutting shears so that not that you have to have the best of, it, of everything, but if you're going to be cutting your wigs, the hair doesn't grow back. Um, you want to be very, very careful, and I wanted to make sure that I had the, the appropriate shears to do the thinning and also to do any kind of trimming and so that it would feel really comfortable. I have taken this one, because I've worn it so often, um, to my hairdresser. When I've gone for my hairdresser's appointment and I had it on, I said, "Can you?" when she cut my hair, I said, can you cut it a little, can you cut this piece a little shorter? And she said, sure. So um, she has done that, and I really, I mean, I really like it. I'm gonna just take this gently off. Ta-da, wig's gone. And I'm gonna show you the Raquel Welch. Now I'm doing this 
opening up my little clips. I'm doing this without being able to see. Now normally I would be fixing my hair. So this is the piece that I wore when I was being interviewed um, by Christina from The Wig Company. And I actually had it pulled back. I'm gonna try to do this. I don't know if I can do it. I actually had it pulled back because I had been interviewed and I had, it was on Friday night and I had just gotten home from work when the interview happened and my hair was kind of like a mess. <laughs> Truly, it was a mess. And I have no idea what this is going to look like because I'm not seeing myself. But I like my updos do to be messy. Now I did that sight unseen. If I was going to really fix my hair, I'd spend more time putting my own hair up into the ponytail, wrapping it a little bit higher. I would probably spray the bottom part of my bio hair to get it up and stay up. And then sometimes I also have to use, you know, a comb um, or a bobby pen of some sorts to pin some of my short pieces up. But then when I got my hair up and then I attached the fake piece, then I would put in a, you know, a clip. And I like to have the messy look. So I do, I like to have the messy look. And so that's kind of how I did it. And they were like, um, when I was doing the interview, first of all, none of them knew I had a, my topper on. And they were amazed at how I actually clipped up my fake buns. Well, I love these wraps. Most of my wraps that I have gotten, actually have gotten from the wig company, I've ordered them. Um, they're by Hairdo. They are heat friendly. You can do an awful lot of these. You can also, I've seen sometimes um, you can get them in some Ulta's. Um, I have Buttered Toast is the color I think I wear the most in these wraps. They're not perfect. Some of them, I mean, you can get some that are a lot blonder. Or you can get some that are darker. They're not perfect. I'm not a perfect match for me, but they are pretty close and they are so reasonable. So I love love having these hair wraps. You can see I have a backup. And so I'm super careful. I've washed them a couple of times, but when they get to be too ratty looking and you can't smooth them out, you can always try a little bit of silicone spray. Works wonders. These things last forever. I mean, I think this one at least have been using this particular one for about two years and for something that costs under 20 bucks. How can you go wrong, especially in the summertime, right? But I will say, this is my favorite. I just, you've seen me with this one. I love the long trendles. This one is getting a little bit of um, rattiness because, if you want to call it, I still think it looks awesome because I do, I do like a messier look. But I've worn that the most. That's my toppers. I am not a topper expert. I am not a, I'm not an expert wig reviewer by any stretch, but I'm not a topper expert. I just know what I like um, and know that uh, to me, a good topper for me is something that does not have, um, is not high density, um, isn't super long right now, and is got, or has cut a color that I can blend in with my my bio here for the everyday, you know, the everyday wear. So, yeah, toppers. How much fun is that? And check out, check out the uh, clearance section because that's where I get the majority of my toppers. Um, this one, the transformation from Raquel Welch, hand tied, amazing lace front comfort. There's something about the clips. They don't pull. They don't tuck. I really, really like this. I can't, I can't wait to, uh, I'm going to probably trim this down a little bit more because I don't think my hair, I'm going to let it grow any longer. But, um, yeah. So when I went away on vacation, this I brought and this I brought. These are the two pieces that I brought. And of course I got, brought my, my little buns and all my hair clips so I could be feeling comfortable. So that's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have any topper questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them. Thank you.